There we go. Alright, shall we? Let's start with a big deep breath. And then exhale it down. Be here. Hang out with me. We've got 30 minutes. We'll get our blood pumping. Our body's moving. We'll do some good for us. Let's start marching. We're going to do 15 on each leg, and then we're going to go sideways a little bit. Here we go. Three, four. Start our elbows. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Add a little sideways in now, where we bring our knee across our body. A little rhythm here. I'm not a dancer, uh, so if I can do this, you can. And then if you are able, add your elbows going down as your knee comes up. So we're still pulling them through. We're just going across. I love it. Five more. One, two, three, four, five. I like it. Let's go. Uh, we're going to go over together. One step forward together, backwards together, over. So we're going to kind of dance a little bit. Okay? Just get warmed up. Back, over, up, back, over, up, back, over. Just here. And in a second, we're going to add some punches when we get to the top. So when you step towards me, give me a good one, two punch. There we go. Five more. One, two, three. I love it. Four. And five. Nice work. Let's do some hamstring work while we're here. So snag your chair if you need it. If you don't, don't use it. We're standing up nice and tall. Keep your right knee on the ground. Sorry, keep your right foot on the ground. Don't put your right knee on the ground. Keep your right foot on the ground. Lift your left toes. Put them behind you. Bend your left toes up towards your rear end. Look down and make sure you can't see your left knee. All right? You don't want it up in front of you like this. Keep it a little tucked behind you. And we are pulling our heel up towards our butt. We got 20. Keep your belly tight. Squeeze your cheeks together. Pull up against the resistance of your cheeks, holding on if you have to, check your posture, up super tall, we got 10 left, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, check your form, look down, you shouldn't see your knee, 3, 2, 1, switch it up, we should feel that in the back of your hamstring, right here, you might feel a little bit more in your butt, that's okay, left foot on the ground, right toes, prop them up behind you, bend your right knee, Look down, you should not see your right knee. And we are pulling up towards our rear end. Sometimes I get a cramp in my hamstring when I do this. Depends how hydrated I am, to be honest with you. We got 12 more. 11, 10, 9, check your posture, squeeze your cheeks. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's do 10 more on each side. So right foot back on the ground. Left toes behind you, pulling your heel towards your butt. We got 10. Keep your right leg soft. 9, 8, 7. Use your chair if you need it. Don't if you don't. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch sides. Soft bend in your right, left leg. Right toes behind you. Pull your heel up towards your butt. We got 10, 9. Soft bend in your left knee. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Oh yeah. Keep your chair right where it is. Walk your feet back and get a really good stretch through your low back and your shoulder area. Right through here. Almost like in the same spot when you thread the needle, but we can hit both sides with this. Reaching down, looking down at your toes. Beautiful. From here, let's go to a plank position. Okay, so we should be totally flat. All right, not dropping your hips to the ground, not kicking them out uh, behind you, right? Totally flat, like we could iron our clothes on your back. And from here, we're just going to reach. Okay, we'll make a little 
instability for our core to keep us upright. Okay. Think about reaching up into a high cabinet. You're kind of almost leaning forward. You should be up on your toes. Your heels should be off the ground a little bit. Let's do 10 more. One, two, three. Try to inhale as you reach. Exhale as you bring your arm down. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. From here, let's do some stars. Captain America's, as I call it with the kids. So spread your feet out a little bit. Tiny bend. And your knees reach your arms to the sides. We're going to start. Reach your right hand to your left hip. And you're going to move towards you guys because I don't have room to turn. But we're going to turn and pull your left arm back behind you with your left shoulder blade muscles. Inhale. And then exhale towards me. Take your left hand. Put it on your right hip. Reach your right arm behind you. Oh, yeah. Take a big deep breath in. Exhale it one more time. Same thing on your hip on your right. With your right hand, excuse me. Turn it towards your left. Nice. We should get a good stretch through our kind of our low back with this. And switch it up one more time. Right hand behind. So you go a little further. Oh, yeah. Coming up. All right. We're going to hang slowly. Just kind of let your hands drop to the ground. You're going to see, I need a haircut like nobody's business. My hair touches the ground right now. And we're just going to hang right here. We're going to shift our weight over to the right and get a good stretch inside our left leg, our left groin area. If you can't touch the ground, don't worry about it. Put your hands on your ankle or on your knee. And then let's shift over to the left. Same thing. Hands on your knee or on your ankle or on the ground if you can get there. Awesome sauce. Okay, come back to the middle. Inhale, slowly roll up, one vertebrae at a time. Ooh, come on back up. You can shake out your hips a little bit. All right, we are gonna go um, side squats, right? So these are kind of like lunges. They look the same almost, but we're gonna go sideways, little squat, back together, okay? Sideways, little squat, back together. As you do this, a couple things. You're not comfortable stepping so far, then step half the length that I'm doing, and then squat down that right side. We're gonna do 10 on the right, 10 on the left, twice. Um, check, before you start doing this, right, I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see where my butt goes. My butt's gonna go back. So I'm stepping sideways, and I'm not doing this, I'm not bending forward, I'm gonna sit myself back. So your butt should go back behind you, uh, again, as if you were gonna go to the bathroom in the woods, right? It's kind of a gross visual, but it works for people. So we're going to go sideways to the right 10 times, to the left 10 times, we're going to do that twice. Ready? Here we go. Step, squat it back, back together, one. You should be very, very light on your toes that are stepping. Okay. Keep yourself super light on your toes, no elephant landings, you want to land like a quiet little mouse. You want to sit your butt back, right? I should be able, if I could see you guys, I should see your head and your chest looking right at me. If you're bending forward like that, you're cheating. I lost track. We got two left, probably. If you guys are counting, kudos to you. Let's switch sides. So now I'm going to shift it over here. We're going to go to our left. Again, keep your left toes really quiet as you land. And find what works for you guys. We're going to feel this in our, in our rear ends. Okay? Right in your tush. Okay? Keep your landing super soft. Go down to a spot that you're comfortable. The further you can go down, the harder this gets. Okay. So find what works for you. We got two left. One, two, beautiful. If you want a little extra, put your hands up over your head. Join me if you will. 10 to the right, 10 to the left. Here we go. Hands are up. We'll keep them there. Good job. Five, six, seven, eight. You're sitting yourself back. Nine, ten. Beautiful. To our left. Cruise and we'll get water after this. Ready? Hands up if you can. If not, on your waist or in front of you is good. Wherever you're comfortable. Here we go. Ten to our left. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh yeah. Get water, get coffee, get whatever you need to keep powering through this. You're doing awesome. Those are tough. You should be feeling those in your glutes. Maybe a little bit working in your low back. I don't want it to ache in your low back. I want it to work. Let's hit some balance. Oh, we're a little bit tired. Left foot in front of your right foot. Sorry, I'm opposite. Left in front of right. Slight bend and your right leg behind you. Everything else is up super tall. If you had your broom, it would be touching your rear end, your shoulder blades, and your head. And you're up nice and tall. We're just hanging. We're going to go 30 seconds here. I will start my timer. We got some bonus time because I've been talking. I think I told you guys, my mom sends me jokes every night. And last night's joke was what did one octopus say to the other octopus when they were in love? Or something like that. I might have butchered it. Sorry, Mom. What did one octopus say to the other octopus when they were in love? Switch your feet. That's not what they said, but switch your feet. I'll give you the answer. Right foot in front of left. One octopus said to the other octopus when they were in love, do you want to hold hands and 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 hands? Get it? <laughs> this is what it's come to. <laughs> hold it out. Five, four, Three, two, one. Beautiful. Calf raise is next. We got two sets of 30. We're going to split it up how we usually do. So feet shoulder width apart. Okay, hands up over your head if you are able. We got 10 like this. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Squeeze your cheeks. Squeeze your calf muscles. 2, 1. Shift your weight to your right. Here we go. 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shift it to the left. Two, three. If you can, lift your right feet, foot off the ground. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shake it out. Lower your arms. Again, if you're not comfortable, arms overhead. Stay on your hips or bring it to a prayer in front of you. We got 30 again. Ready? Ten here. Two, three, four, five. Keep your knees soft. Keep your cheeks squeezed together. Eight, nine, ten. Shift to the right so your left toes are on the ground and your left heel is up or your whole left foot is up off the ground. Four, five, six. Go hands overhead if you can. Nine, ten. Shift it to the left. Sorry. Right toes on the ground or if you are able, lift your right foot. If you're not, no big deal. We can all do part of it. Do part of it. You find what works for you. Three, two, one. Let's stretch them. So lean it into your chair. Keep your left foot behind you. Your right foot in front. You should get a really nice stretch right in the back of your calf muscle through there. We'll hang for ten, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch to your right leg. Bring your left foot in front. Lean yourself in so you get a good stretch in the back of your calf. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, you guys are doing amazing. All right, um, I'll tell you what, let's do some arm work. Let's do.
do our rows, our posture rows. So you guys are going to keep your feet shoulder width apart, hinge forward at your waist, right? I don't want you hunched. We're not ragdolling this, right? We're going to hinge ourselves forward like a book. And from here, we're just rowing. So just so you guys can see. Okay, squeezing your shoulder blades together. We have uh, 20 rows. Here we go. One, two, three. Pay attention to where your shoulders are. They shouldn't be up in your ears. They should still be down and back. Nine, ten, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I love it. Let's do some balance. Let's do some shoulder work while we're here. So put your right foot in front of your left, and we're going to kind of swim. Okay? If you are falling over, no shame, no worries, then just separate your feet a little bit. Give yourself a wider base of support that allows you to stay upright. I'm going to challenge myself a little bit and go one foot in front of the other. Take some big deep breaths as you raise your arm up overhead. Nice. Three more. One. Two. And three. And switch your feet. So now I got my left foot in front of my right. We're going to change our hand motion to open and a little bit behind us with your palms facing the ceiling. And then close and bring your palms together. Open. Open up your chest, get a good little stretch. Close. Right in front of you, like a book. We got eight more. Close as I start to fall over. Squeeze your cheeks together if you're starting to lose your balance. That'll help you stay upright. Exhale together. Inhale it up. I lost count. Let's do three more. Three is the magic number. Exhale together. Inhale apart. Last one. Exhale together. Awesome stuff. Give yourself a round of applause. Get some water or some more coffee if you're me. Oh, I love it. Okay, guys. Let's work the outside glute muscles. So what we're going to do is this sideways. Sometimes I have, there's, there's two different exercises that we do for this, right? The first is the skaters, where we go back and away at that 45 degree angle. This one is not a skater. We're going to go, it's like a jumping jack. We're going to go directly sideways. Okay? Directly sideways. You can bring your foot a little bit behind you. You want to feel it more. But we're not going back as much as we are going pretty directly sideways. Let's turn so you guys can see right, from a couple different angles. Directly sideways. The, the rest of your body should be almost in a straight line. Right? I don't want you leaning in like this or forward or anything like that. Nice upright posture. Hold on to something if you need it. Directly sideways. We got 20 on each side twice. Okay, squeeze your right cheek. We're moving our left leg, but squeeze your right cheek so that you stay perfectly upright. Strong hips lead to strong low backs and strong knees. Okay? We got 20. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, ten more. One. Hold on if you have to. If you don't, hands on hips. You want to challenge? Hands overhead. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. I happen to feel this on the side that's standing because I'm keeping myself super upright. Okay, so you might feel this on either side. Uh, whichever one is weaker is going to talk to you first. Okay, I'm moving my right leg, left leg on the ground, slight bend in my knee. Here we go. Up tall. If you need to, rest your right toes in between every rep. If you want a little more challenge, then keep those toes elevated, just hovering over the ground. And bring your hands up overhead if you're not already there. If you're not comfortable there, then keep them in front of you. Hold on, no big deal. We got five more. Five, four, three, two, one, switch it up, 20 more. I am feeling this right on the outside of my hips and my cheeks. That's where you guys should be feeling it too, ready? Up nice and tall, check your posture, here we go. Jumping jack, 
uh, leg lifts. I don't know what to call these. I gotta come up with names. That's one of my favorite things is I give my I give exercises to patients and I have names for them, and they don't know what the names are. So like, Kel, I did the one where I lift my arm up and I pull it, pull it through and it stretches my shoulder, and I call that thread the needle. But people don't always call it that. So that's one of my favorite uh, areas to explore is the language of uh, of teaching movement. We got five more, I think. One, two, three, four. Five, switch it to your right side that's moving, keep your left firmly planted, soft bend in your right knee, sorry, in your left knee and hip, we got 20 to the right side, here we go, three, four, five, six, make sure that right leg is real stiff like a peg leg as you go out, make sure that it's not creeping up in front of you, and check the rest of your posture, you should be up tall, hands overhead if you can, ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woohoo! Let's sit. We haven't stretched that muscle group in, I don't know, a couple of days at least. So have a seat. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. And then there's two different ways we can stretch this. We want to feel it in the outside of our right cheek area. Uh, so you can either push your right leg down to the ground and you might feel it. I tend to feel this more if I lean forward. Today you can play with the placement of your uh, ankle. Some people feel it more if their ankle is closer to their, their torso, the rest of their body. Some people feel it more if their ankle is further away. This is how I like to get that stretch. It's called a piriformis stretch. It's one of our muscles in our hips and our low back. Switch your feet up. So left ankle over right knee and then find your sweet spot, right? You might have to move your foot up and down your leg. You might have to sit up tall and push down. You might have to lean yourself a little forward. So find what works for you for that outside glute muscle that is really little but really important. It's called your piriformis. If you guys want anatomy education videos tell me because I love this stuff and I will make them for you and I will totally nerd out in the process so you can see a whole different side of me that is nerdy Kelly and not uh, trainer Kelly all right stand on up let's do uh, our thread the needle exercise or Kelly I forget what it's called but I reach my arm through and then I go up the other way that one all right uh, I'm going to use my chair. Actually, I'm going to use the wall today. I'm going to use the wall because I like having my arms a little higher uh, at about shoulder height. You guys go with whatever you're comfortable with. Okay, so my arms are shoulder height. I'm going to scoot over here. Um, reaching through with our left hand. Reaching down and through. And then up, up, up and away. Oh, yeah. We got five. Thread the needles. Here we go. That was one. Exhale it down. Inhale it up. Follow your thumb with your eyes. Exhale it down. Inhale it up. Ooh, yeah. Exhale it down. Two more. Inhale it up. One more. Exhale it down. Get a really good stretch through your whole side. Oh, yeah. Nice work. And then let's switch. Left hand on the wall or your chair. Exhale your right hand through. Inhale it up. Now I know I'm going to get questions on, Kel, you're doing it on the wall today. Is it better if I do it on the wall or the chair? My answer is going to be, it depends where you're most comfortable. Mine is varying day to day. Today I like the wall. Um, it's wherever your shoulders are most comfortable, wherever you feel the better stretch. Everybody's a little bit different with this. Let's do one more. Exhale it out. Inhale it up. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. All right. I bet you all thought you were getting out of squats today, but that's not the case. We're going to finish up with them. So grab your chair. If you like it or you need it, grab your Swiffer or your broom. Lisa, looking at you. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we are just going to go... Um, 
We're going to do 50 squats total. We're going to do 20 regular speed, 10 quick, and then 20 regular speed, and then we'll finish. We'll stretch and we'll be done for the day. All right? You guys have been amazing. Thank you for hanging out with me. 20 regular speed squats, 10 fast, 20 regular speed. Ready? No flopping. Remember, no flopping. If you need something taller, right, go grab a pillow, a blanket, something that you're not going to flop onto, and we're just going to touch our seat to the edge of the seat, and we're going to pop right back up, okay? 20 regular speed, 10 fast, 20 regular. Ready? Hands in front of you. You can go hands overhead if you want to. Ready? We should be feeling this in our glutes and our quads, okay? If you're feeling it in your low back, tighten your belly. 20, here we go. Down and up. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We should be feeling this by now. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18. Mrs. Shaw, you're doing awesome. I can't see you, but I know you are crushing it. We got 10 fast. Ready? Shake it out if we have to. See if you can exhale on your way up, inhale on your way down for these 10 fast ones. Ready? Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, yeah. Shake them out. 20 regular speed. These are going to be a breeze after that. Ready? Inhale on your way down. Exhale on your way up. Ready? Here we go. One. Two. Three. Check your posture. Make sure you're up nice and tall. Make sure your head and your chest are not bending you forward. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, final ten. Count it with me if you want. One, two, you guys have been amazing. Three, four, five, six. Check your head and your chest. Make sure we're up tall. Eight, nine, ten. Woohoo! Give yourselves a round of applause. You guys are awesome. You just crushed it. Let's stretch. Let's end our time together with a smile. That's number one. Second thing, reach your hands way high, feet shoulder width apart, big deep breath in. We're going to exhale and ragdoll our way down to our floor, or our knees, or our ankles, or our toes, wherever you could reach. We're going to inhale, halfway lift. We got five of those today. I'll be extra nice to you. You guys can turn. I'm going to turn so you can see me a little more. Ready? Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale your way down. You can close your eyes while you're here. Just listen to me. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale your way down. Get a good stretch in the backs of your legs. Inhale, halfway. Exhale it down. Let your head and your neck get heavy, your shoulders get heavy. Inhale halfway. Exhale down one more. Inhale halfway. Exhale our way down. We're going to inhale slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Roll yourself up. Keep that inhale going. Keep that inhale going. Raise your hands up over your head. Turn, face me. <sighs> Exhale, push it all away. Inhale, your arms up. <sighs> Exhale, into a prayer. Give yourself a smile. Thank you for spending some time with me this morning. I love you guys. Remember, you're strong, confident, and beautiful. There's nothing you can't do.